So the first reading today from the Song of Songs is, uh, is a series of dream sequences where there is this bride-to-be waiting on her husband and the bride-to-be longing for her husband to come. And, uh, and so it is this anticipation and it is the anticipation of the church for the coming of Christ. It is the anticipation of the Christian in this world now of the coming of the God in glory. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what we're supposed to call to mind is that this great anticipation and longing for the glorious coming of Christ. And uh, I don't know if that's how you feel about, you know, the end of the world, so to speak, but that's what our good Lord wants us to be longing for as a husband and, or, or fiancés are longing for the consummation of their wedding. So our Lord is calling on us to, to be ready, waiting, anticipating his arrival. In the Gospel of Luke, uh, you know, the God, oh, by the way, let me tell you something. The rosary is like a very pro-life prayer, okay? <laughs> what did we have today? Which mystery of the rosary did we have today? Which is the visitation, right? So the visitation. And there, there's a series of miracles that are happening here. How did Elizabeth know that Mary was pregnant? Had to be a prophetic. This is, Mary's just getting there. Mary is an unmarried girl. How is it the mother of my Lord? How did she know that the infant that Mary was carrying is her Lord? And how old was that infant in Mary's womb, by the way? Or that zygote or that conceptus or that embryo? How old was? Just days. You know, I hear about people who pray the rosary and at the same time support abortion. I don't get it. I don't get it. How do you meditate on this mystery? How do you do that? There is a logical inconsistency there. There is a darkness. There is a veil of lies. This beautiful mystery of the rosary. Yesterday, the gospel was the Annunciation. Another beautiful mystery of the rosary. We are people who are away from home, pilgrims on a journey, anticipating the coming of Christ with a longing in our heart to know and live and love the truth, to know and live and love purity, to know and live and love chastity, to know and live and love life, right? We are pilgrims on a journey. And I hope this day you are longing for the consummation of history and the coming of Christ in glory. And if we have to wait another year till next year, so be it. But that's what we're anticipating. That's what we're hoping for. And uh, as we're on our way, let us be pro-life people too, right? Amen.